People who know nothing else about the Bible all know about the 666. Well, this is where it comes from, verse 18 of chapter 13. And that leads to all kinds of conjectures. Now the 666, the word Christos in the Greek consists of two letters that start and end that word. And you put a, a serpent between these two and you get in the Greek gematria 600 plus 60 plus 6 or the 600, uh, 666 derives from the numerical value of, the, of those three letters and, uh, and are so rendered. But uh, that, that, of course, is the Antichrist, a type of the Antichrist. So you take the first and last letters and put the serpent in the middle of it, and you get the Antichrist, or Pseudo-Christ, to be more precise. But whose number? You know, you find books spending all their time on barcodes, you know, uh, that, uh, because the barcodes use a six as a separator symbol in some of the, in some of them, not all, but some of them. Uh, there are insertable chips that uh, for uh, you know where you can take a tiny thing and insert it in a in a in, under the skin and and have it transpond information and so forth. And there are all these technologies which indeed can be useful in protecting a person's identity to avoid identity theft, and that's becoming an increasingly uh, increasing concern in the modern culture. But that's not what it's talking about. Clearly, these technologies permit a dictator incredible power. That's not the point. They overlook that it is his number, not ours, that's the issue. It's not your PIN number or whatever, or social security number, that's the issue. It's his number that you take visibly as a sign of allegiance to him. Now you may need to do that in order to get a, a, a identity that you need, I realize his control, that's going to be very effective, but the point is it's his number and name that is the critical identity. So take whatever credit cards you've got or whatever other things, that's not the issue. But if you pledge allegiance to this leader by taking on his identity on your forehead or your arm, that is a absolute barrier to ever being saved. You've picked your, you've picked your choice.